Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Studio. And in this video, we'll be discussing the editorial for problem helpful math which appeared in Code Forces round 197 div2. So the crux of this question is basically you'll be given a string uh, which contains of something like this 3 plus 2 plus 1 a mathematical string and you need to sort this string the whole point of the equation is to sort this string so that you'll get something like 1 plus 2 plus 3. When you consider the second input it is 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 which should be sorted to form 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. So basically the question is to start with the uh, smaller numbers initially in the addition and then go into the increasing order whereas the given string would be in an uh, unorganized manner. So considering the fact that this is based on sorting what we can do basically is to pick up each of the string element that is each of the character like 1, 1, 2, 3 and 3 and you can sort that string you can take a result variable and then separate all this sorted string with a plus sign. So basically uh, let's just say the given string is 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. So let's just say this is the given string the output what it is required for the given question is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. So in our given algorithm that I want to devise initially would be to take a new string uh, which is a temporary string and initialize that with each of the character of the string right so after a one traversal through the string this temporary string would become something like one one three two one three right the second step would be sort the temporary string which would lead the temporary string to be something like this 1 1 1 2 3 3 right so after you get the temporary string I'll have an another result variable result string variable and then step number four would be to append the result variable with each of the temporary character and then a plus sign so I would what I would do is basically a uh, result is equal to result plus uh, temp of i uh, plus a character of plus right this I do until the last but one character and for the last character I'll just add the last character so in step number five my resultant would become something like one plus one plus one plus two plus three plus so one plus two one plus one plus two plus three plus so this is what we are adding in each of these step number four this is basically occurring in a loop from i equal to zero to i equal to uh, let's just say temp let's just say the size of temp is n to n minus 1 and at the last we'll add the last digit of the temp that is temp of n minus 1 uh, because we don't need a plus sign at the uh, end right so this is what i would think for this case a naive approach to basically sort this given string by taking each of the character from the given input and then return this resultant variable uh, as our final answer like this Right, so this is a good algorithm in my case um, given the input input size because the input size of string is only 100 so I think this would work fine but this is an optimized way to solve this problem which I would be discussing now. So let me just erase this. So it's given in the question that let me just show you it's given in the question that the, the string s is a correct sum of numbers of only 1, 2 and 3. So there are no other characters in the given string except 1, 2 and 3. So instead of wasting our time complexity in doing, you know, sorting takes of O of n log n, right? So you don't need to waste this extra log n time, right? You can do it in single O of n uh, with the algorithm I show you. Step number one, since it contains only 1, 2 and 3 characters, I'll take three variables 1, 2 and 3. And in a single traversal through the string, I'll increment each of the 1, 2 and 3 respectively when I hit the characters 1, 2 or 3. And then let's just say in my given uh, input 1 is basically uh, 3, uh, 2 is basically 1 and 3 is basically 2 in my case. Right. So my second step would be to run through loops of, for, of size 1, of size 2, of size 3 and increment 1 plus, 2 plus and 3 plus into the resultant variable. So let me take a resultant variable 
and I'll increment this. So basically I'll run a loop from for i equal to 0 to i less than 1. Similarly, i less than 2. Similarly, i less than 3. And I'll what I'll do basically here is res equal to res plus uh, 1 plus. Similarly, I'll do here 2 plus. Similarly, I'll do in this loop 3 plus. After doing this, my fourth step would be to run through the loop for i equal to 0 to i less than uh, resultant minus 1. That is resultant of size minus 1. I'll be just printing out the, the resultant of i. So why am I not running this loop until resultant of size? Because um, I, I don't need the last character. Here I'm appending all 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus. So let's just say my last character is this. I do not want to print this plus character, right? So I'll just print until this character, which is until res minus uh, 2. That is i runs from 0 to i less than res minus 1. So this is what my algorithm looks like. And this is a more optimized uh, algorithm because uh, this takes only O of n time. That is one traversal through the loop. Whereas the earlier uh, uh, took O of n log n time complexity. And obviously O of n is better than O of n log n. So this algorithm is more optimized in that manner. So let's just go into our code editor and start coding for this question. Yeah, so this is our code editor. Uh, let me just uh, take the input, which is str so there are no test cases for this given question that is we do not need to handle for t number of test cases in given problem so i am directly taking input of string str and then i will be initializing uh, three variables 1 equal to 0 2 equal to 0 3 equal to 0 and then in a single loop from int i equal to 0 to i less than uh, str dot size or, a, or for more simplicity, we can do for character uh, ch in str, which is uh, for each loop for to run through the given string. If ch is equal to 1, then uh, I would increment 1 plus plus. Uh, else if ch equal to 2, I would increment 2 plus plus else if ch equal to 3, I would increment 3 plus plus right so once I'll run through this loop which is an O of n loop I'll be incrementing 1 2 and 3 what we are thinking is to have a resultant variable right so string resultant equal to empty string now I'll run through the loops for int i equal to 0 to i less than 1 to i plus plus I'll just uh, increment res res plus uh, 1 plus right this is what I want to do and for I'll just do 2 plus for 3 I'll just do 3 plus so these are these are three different loops which run from i equal to 0 to i less than 1 i equal to 0 to i less than 2 i equal to 0 to i less than 3 and then I increment 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so I'll just uh, print the uh, resultant variable uh, on the screen so that you can see what my resultant variable is after the code is run right so my resultant variable is nothing but so I just need to have a something like this. I'm incrementing a character instead of the a string to this given uh, string variable. So I think it will run this perfectly fine. Yeah. So my resultant is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus. So I do not want to have this last plus inside our given solution. So what I'll be doing is basically um, I'll run through uh, for int i equal to 0 to i less than uh, resultant or size minus 1 plus plus i um, and I'm just printing out a uh, resultant of i and then resultant of i and then at the last I'm just printing out n line so that it just ends on the new line so I'm just run this so this is just press 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. So this is running perfectly fine as expected. So let me just try on different test cases here. 1 plus 2 plus 3, which should obviously give the same output as 1, 2, 3. So let me just take the one here. Uh, this should also give the same input 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is working fine. So let me just take 2 as input and then run it. So it should give just 2 as an output. 
so this is running perfectly fine let's just submit this into our code editor uh, i'll just go into submit tab and then i'll just print this submit oh, it's running in the queue and uh, basically it got accepted right so this is how you code for this question there are two approaches to solve this problem one which took o of n log n times which required sorting of the string whereas the second uh, thing took only o of n time so if there are other characters in the given string like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then sorting would be much better instead of writing uh, a variable for each of the character. But since this only has three characters as given in the question, O of n would be a better time complexity to solve this problem. So if you like the video, please hit the like down below. If you love the content on this channel, please hit the subscribe button and share this to all your programming friends. Thanks and bye.